Hi, friends and family. Welcome to Gary in the Kitchen. I'm Gary. Today we're gonna to make a quick supper dish. It's uh, sweet and sour chicken. It's kind of on the stir, uh, stir fry Chinese food kind of dish. Um, so once you get you a glass of sweet tea and join me in the kitchen. Hi, welcome back to the kitchen. So uh, I'm Gary. Again, I got my sweet tea. Um, let me tell you the ingredients of this. The reason I call it semi homemade is because I don't make the sweet and sour sauce. I buy it. This is from this is from Aldi's. This is Aldi's brand. Um, if you don't have an Aldi's, you can get it. I'm sure at Walmart in their grocery department or whatever your local food store is and whatever brands are that they carry. You probably can even get a name brand. Um, but that's all it is. That's why it's semi homemade because I'm I'm not making the sauce. But what I have is three boneless, skinless chicken breasts that I cut up into bite-sized pieces. I have a green bell pepper, a red bell pepper, and a purple onion, medium to large size. I have one can of, of pineapple rings uh, in their juice. I separated the juice, and I cut the, the pineapples into little small bites, cut the rings in half, stack them on top, and just cut them into bite size. You can use chunks if you want. I find that chunks, for my taste, are a little too big. But if you want chunks, then cut the chunks. Or I wouldn't use the, the, the pureed ones, those crushed ones. Um, I don't know why, but I don't think I would use those. Um, so let's move over to the stove and get started. Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna start the cooking process. Um, I have my seven quart Dutch oven. Um, and I got a couple tablespoons of olive oil in it, uh, heat it up, and start to shimmer. So let me tee down. And we're going to start the, um, the browning process of the chicken. So we just probably do it in batches here. A couple batches. Um, I did it. Tell you that. Salt and pepper was one of the ingredients because I kind of figured you knew that. It's kind of a given. You know, so um, just put a little salt, a little pepper on each step, except for when you add the sauce. Once you add the sauce, don't add. Especially the salt. And add a little more oil. Right here. Stick it browned up real good. And once we get the chicken, see I'm just sauteing, just browning the chicken. Because you want to get a little brown on it. Because you don't, it, it, it's like white, grayish matter <laughs> in your food. So you want to have a little, a little brown, maybe a little crisp on your chicken, okay? So once we get that done, we'll be back in for the next step. So while he is doing the uh -huh. chicken and he's also he's also had a pie in the oven that he's tending to I'm just going to share with you that I have a cranberry and raspberry vodka cocktail we we got the the raspberry vodka to uh, go with one of our Christmas drinks that had cranberry in it but for some reason, instead of turning red, it turned brown. Um, not sure why. But anyway, this is good. You could get a hint of raspberry plus the cranberry and the vodka. Yummy. And I also want to show you what Gary got me. <laughs> he got me yesterday at Bucky's. Fresh brisket on the board. <laughs> so everybody knows I love Bucky's. So just wanted to share that in the middle of all this with you. How's it going? Good. Good. Just keep the chicken brown. Did you dry the meat? If you don't dry the meat, it won't brown. You're not milking that, are you? No. Hey guys, welcome back. I just want to show you where we got the, um, the chicken brown and we put it on a plate. Um, 
and set it aside for a few minutes while we did get the vegetables ready. Uh, but also, um, I made a pot um, of jasmine rice to go with it. So that's what we're going to put it on. We're going to put on the jasmine rice. So now I'm going to add, I'm going to add the peppers and the onion. I'm going to give them a little saute. Pepper and salt on there. <laughs> I'm not really going to like cook these down or anything. I just kind of like almost basically just kind of get them hot through and through because you want a little firmness on it so they can simmer it, it can simmer in with a sauce. It smells good. And so. I do have a spare bottle of this just in case I need it, you know, since I'm not really a, a measuring kind of cook. Uh, so I'm hoping this will be enough along with the pineapple juice that goes in it. So your, your juice from your pineapple probably makes Probably about a cup. I did. I did. Or again, I don't measure it. Uh, I just used the, all the all the juice from the can of, of fruit. And when these are ready, I'm just gonna put a splash in here to kind of like deglaze the pan. Once these are done, I'm going to deglaze the pan a little bit. Then we'll put the chicken in, stir it together, and we'll add the sauce, okay? Look at this pie. It looks and smells so yummy. Mmm. I want some now. So the, the, the onions and the peppers have been cooking about three minutes. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to add a good splash of the pineapple juice into the bottom of the pot, like that. I'm going to take my wooden spoon and, and scrape up all the brown on the bottom of the pot because that's good seasoning and good flavor. And this, you know, with the pineapple juice, unlike, you know, wine, you don't have to, you know, wait until it's um, evaporated or cooked down really low because, I mean, you're going to add the more juice. The juice just adds the flavor and the sweetness to the sweet and sour. Okay. So, in goes the chicken. Let me lay my salt in. Get all the flavor off the plate. Now we're going to mix it all together. Okay, so it's good here. All right, so in goes your sweet and sour sauce. The whole bottle. Also going, also go, I'm also going to funnel some um, pineapple juice in here to get to clean out the bottle, <laughs> to get all of that um, sweet and sour out. Now it looks like I might have to break open that second bottle because I kind of like it. I like it a little bit saucy to go on my rice. So, so let me reach in the pantry and, and grab that second bottle. Then I need it, but let me funnel the pineapple juice first. <clears throat> there we go. We got. 
got all that sweet and sour sauce out of there. <laughs> Stir it. Alrighty. I know a lot of Chinese buffets now they don't mix the sweet and sour on the chicken. They put it to the side. So now I'm going to um, add the rest of my juice to my to my sauce, to my pan, to my vegetables, to my chicken. And we're gonna bring it to a little simmer and let it simmer for a little bit. Um, Why do you think they put the sauce on the side? You know, I, I don't know if it's been in like an evaluation and that's how customers prefer it. But I kind of like, I kind of like my chicken and my vegetables kind of like cooked in it, of course, absorb, absorb the sauce, the sauce. And, the, yeah. and the flavor because when you pour it over the top of the chicken, it's just like chicken and dip, you know, like you're dipping your chicken into something. Yeah, like it's that. not quite the same. Okay. So I'm going to let this cook a little bit and then I'll decide if I want to add some a little extra sauce to it, but it looks pretty saucy right now. Okay, so we're going to let it uh, simmer. Oh, probably five to ten minutes, maybe. Just where all the flavors can match, so we'll put a lid on it. And we'll be back in a few. Hey, guys. So this has been uh, simmering about about five, six minutes or so. Um, I think I want to add maybe maybe just a half a bottle. Because I like mine kind of saucy because I kind of like it. I like to put it on my rice. And, you know, kind of like a rice and gravy kind of thing. So I'm going to add about a half a bottle to it. And it's going to be plenty. Yeah, that's going to make it plenty saucy enough. So I'm going to stir it in. All righty. All right. So we'll let this simmer for just a couple more minutes with the new sauce in there. Then we'll add the pineapples. And then it's time to eat. Uh, this has been simmering about three or four minutes uh, with the new sauce that I put in there. The last step is adding your pineapple. Just put your pineapple in and stir it, you know, where it's combined in real good uh, just before you serve. You don't really want to cook your pineapple because it becomes kind of really soft and stringy, if you will. Um, the cubes kind of like cook apart and stuff. So um, so it's good and hot. So in this, so now I'm gonna add the pineapple. Gosh, there's still some juice in there. <laughs> okay. And I'm just gonna give it a good stir. Uh, one tried to escape. <laughs> so this really makes a quick and easy, you know, weeknight meal or make ahead. If you like cook for your week, like one day on the weekend or something like that, and you cook your meals ahead and put them in the refrigerator. This is a great make ahead. I would even say you probably could freeze it. I've never froze it because it doesn't last that long. <laughs> Alrighty, so it's in there. We're gonna get plated up and we're gonna do the taste testing. Alrighty, we'll see you guys in just a few minutes. Hey guys, hey. guess what? It's time to eat. Yeah, um, so let, let me show you what we got here. Mm. Uh, there it is on the rice. So we're gonna give it a taste test. Mm -hmm. Now I have made this a couple times before, and I thought it was a good thing for the for the vlog, you know. So mm -hmm. yeah. looking for something quick and easy and good and warm and hot for your belly. This is it. That's really good. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Still yeah. a little bit of crunch in the vegetables. Yeah. So that's good. The chicken, of course, the chicken is done and it's sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. So here's to you. Hope you enjoy it, and I hope you enjoy it. If you do try it and you like it, let us know in the comments. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. We are trying to um, increase our subscribers. I almost said followers, but <laughs> I don't like that word, uh, subscribers. So uh, if you haven't joined, do join us. And um, if you need anything. to be notified, hit that bell to notify you when we post something new. Uh, we're always about town with work and stuff, so 
you never know when we may post a short or yeah. something like that. So, um, again, give us a thumbs up. Tell us you like us and join us. And uh, be sure to subscribe. Okay? Yes. We'll see Love you, you babies. Time. God bless. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye now. Good night.